Okie dokie. Well, to start with, everybody, happy 4th of July. So. so, but anyway, um, <clears throat> anyway, to start with, um, let me go ahead and intro this uh, music here real quick. And this is going to be Steve Roden, their area, Aria, I don't know how you pronounce it, but <clears throat> Hanging Gardens, second version. And, um, this is gonna be this is gonna be some lowercase music, um, just really super quiet, laid back, um, but yeah, this and this wasn't my first choice. Uh, there was actually a, I actually there was actually a couple albums that I was uh that would have been a better fit for my cast, but uh, unfortunately both of them were copyrighted, so just kind of a last minute thing. I just came up with this, so figured I haven't played any lowercase music in a while. So I figured I was a bit overdue anyway. So, and uh, because of how quiet this music is, I have to have it up full blast. So, just to kind of kind of compensate. But anyway, um, to start with, um, for for my pinball stream. For the most part, nothing, nothing really stood out. I, so I'm guessing it was pretty much just an average session. Um, like I said, I don't remember much other than the fact that uh, just the usual FX3 is crashing. Um, Pinball Arcade, the DX11 version, is also crashing, leaving me uh, no choice but to fire up the Shitball Arcade version, like the DX9. I mean that. Definitely, that's one thing that stood out. It, I can't see the damn ball most of the time. Especially when it's traveling really fast. So, it... So, I mean, it's just really, really hard to track. And causing me to flub a lot of shots. Um, causing the ball to just just fly right by me and not me not even knowing it. So, out of frustration of that... I went ahead and switched over to Zachariah, which I've not much love for that game either, but at least I can see the ball a lot easier. So, and then, um, one thing I did on Zachariah, I, ju I just now remembered, um, I tried a different, uh, a different mode called cabinet mode, or like cabinet view or something like that, where, uh, if you've ever watched any pop up pinball videos, like tutorials and whatnot, it's uh it's where the camera is literally directly over the table. Like right on top of it. It's like a bird's eye view. Um try that for a while. Um it's gonna take some getting used to. Uh, but I eventually I think I might be, I might end up growing to liking it. But I also uh made sure to tell my viewers too that if this view bothers you, let me know and I'll switch back. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea here. Hold on. Oh, and also for what it's worth, um, I have to have uh, the volume cranked up pretty high to hear this in my headphones too. So. And um, I, and um, oh, and I need to rewind back a little bit, um. I did cure part of Pinball Arcade's problem. I said yesterday, or I've been saying recently, that uh, Pinball Arcade is like full screen only. Well, um, the answer, the, the cure for that was staring at me right in the face. There's a configuration utility that it's on the Steam menu when you choose uh, Pinball Arcade. Look, went ahead and launched that. Um, just started fiddling around with the screen type. There's like you know, full screen, windowed, uh, full screen, windowed, both. And they had a windowed version, so, and, uh, unlike a lot of other games, you can still, uh, resize the window to however big or small you see fit. So, just toyed with that. Um, I got it on windowed mode, and I got it to the exact size I wanted. So, um, I can swap between windows easily. I don't have to wait, I don't have to... I don't have to wait on that black screen transition that 
where every time that occurs, there is a chance that it'll cause my computer to restart. So, like I said, transition is quick and instant. And I can see my taskbar at the bottom now. Just the same thing that, just the same thing that I can do on FX3 and Pinball Arcade, the, D the DX11 version. Now, I just need to figure out how to brighten the damn ball. Just like I said, it. If you if, if you've ever watched my if you ever watched me stream this, and if you have a hard if you think you have a hard time track you know trying to find the ball, you can only imagine what I gotta go through. If, you know, and if that ball is zipping around, then yeah, it's next to impossible to find it. Oh, and um, I forgot to mention about the music too. I do have to put it on loop because it's only like a it's like a ten minute video. But like I said, otherwise, aside from those, it the session really wasn't anything to write home about. Like I don't, I don't recall me like just, I don't recall me really kicking ass and taking names on any of the tables or anything like that. But then again, uh, I don't. Actually, no, I take that back. I take that back. Um, towards the uh, the very, the here, let me rewind back a bit. I started with Shitball Arcade, played it until I got tired of it, switched over to Zachariah, played it until I got tired of it, and then went ahead and uh, fired up FX3, seeing how long I'd last, lasted about a minute and crashed, went to Pinball Arcade, the DX11 version, uh, same thing, I lasted about a minute, and then it crashed, so back to Shitball Arcade, and then this time around... And then this time around, I totally sucked. So I just played complete ass. But luckily, um, I think it was 5 p.m., so it was right around my cutoff, right around my cutoff period. So I ended up having a shutdown at that point anyway, so no big deal. But it, weird as it might sound, aside from all that, the, the session itself... It, Nothing really, nothing really impressive. It's just a, a very redolent, flat, whiny session. Oh, and, oh, and except for one other thing, this was an early session. Um, I actually got some good sleep. Um, uh, laid down 4:30 a.m. like I usually do on my nights off. Um, slept uninterrupted until about 11 a.m. So, I figured, hey, since I got some good sleep, I'm good and ready to go. Might as well do an early stream. So. Like I said, um, so yeah, but again, aside from that, or excuse me, aside from all the stuff that I mentioned, it was pretty much a mediocre stream, so. But, oh, is that, that was pretty much the session. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another drink here. So anyway, um, so then pretty much pretty much routine these days. After the stream, get the blog all taken care of and stuff. Um, fired up some Idle Champs with Forgotten Realms, ran it for about an hour or two. Um, Gems of War played it for about fifteen or so minutes. And yesterday, I I forgot to mention this, but uh, I think or I should say this morning was the start of the new PvP week in Gems of War, so played played it for about an hour to get my tier from tier 15 to tier 1, and then just called it good on that. So, but otherwise, the rest of the time, I'm just going to be uh, doing maintenance, for lack of a better word. Playing it for about, doing PvP for about 15 or so minutes, you know, doing about, doing a few battles, and then just calling it good on that. And then, um, I also decided to uh, try my luck with Capcom Fighting Collection. Thinking, um, 
because CFC is short for Cap, you know, Capcom Fighting Collection, CFC for short. I'm kind of jumbling my words up right now. But anyway, um, but yeah, it, I got lucky. It didn't crash. So what I ended up doing is um, got on training mode, did my usual random select, um, tried a few characters. They weren't working out for one reason or another. Um, so my verdict's pretty much going to be the same. If I was to ever pick a main character, it's going to be Lord Raptor. I think um, he's the close... He has more stuff that he could do, but he's the closest equivalent that I could think of would be Dalsum. Uh, of, of Street Fighter fame. You know, he's got the the super long limb attacks. He's a... He's a... How can I put it? He's a ranged melee character. For those that aren't familiar with fighting games, it's the best ex explanation I can give you. Um... I guess if you, if you ever played an arcade game called Bionic Commando, he's got that he's got that long extender claw that he can use, like grap to grapple stuff, you know, grapple walls and ceilings and whatnot. Dalsum, he's kind of like that. He again, he's a he's a ranged melee character, if that makes any sense at all. But that but again that Lord Rafter. Oh, I forgot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me shit. Forgot to loop it. Thought I already did, but apparently not. Um, but oh, and um, let me rewind rewind back a little bit. The game I the game I was playing was Vampire Savior, and my brain kind of farted. So, but anyway, on that game there. Okay, now we'll now we'll now we'll head back on the path. Vampire Savior, training mode, random select. Um, tested out a few characters. They weren't really working out for one reason or another. Um, one reason I definitely can think of is um, the, the charge motion or the charge attacks are actually pretty damn bad in this game. Uh, for Street Fighter and most other fighting games out there, for charge motions... For those that don't know, it's a uh, um, Guile uh, again. Street Fighter. He's legendary for this. He, he, most of his moves, if you you have to hold back for about a second, and then forward, and then a, like a, an attack button, like punch or kick. Um, and then got same thing with his uh, with his his anti air moves. You hold down. For about a second or so, and then up, and then like probably kick, you know, stuff like that. But uh, in a vampire savior, you gotta hold down the. Okay, I'm gonna, I gotta put it on pause here for a moment. Yeah, just a moment. It's going to take a little longer than expected. Nope, nope, nope. Screwed it up. Let's try that again. Worked last time. Still working on it. Okay, almost done.
yeah, it, not having it there was driving me up a wall. Anyway, so, anyway, so what a vampire savior, um, I totally forgot what I was going to say. I kind of lost my train of thought. Um, but anyway, um, just played it, for, played this for a while. Um, not long. Again, nothing was really working out, so, but. All right, fuck it. I'll just, um, uh, I'll just continue on. Like I said, I just kind of, kind of got a little too distracted. So, aside from that, um, I was also gonna fire up some uh, some more uh, some more itchy and scratchy marathon. Um, it came up on my YouTube recommendations this morning. I talked about this yesterday. Uh, but that wasn't until until I noticed more uh more uh, CEO tournament uh videos started popping up, ones that I'd never seen before. So that kind of threw me off. Um. I had a... Oh, fuck, I'm jumbling my words. But uh, I thought, uh... It kind of kind of threw me for a loop, because... I thought that was it. Like, um... I think I did a cast video talking about this a uh, week or two ago. Um, I thought it was only... I thought I was just going to show the few videos, and that was it. But, um, apparently... Apparently what they're doing... Is they're drip feeding the uh, they're drip feeding the videos like during this uh, CEO weekend, Def Jam fight for New York. They actually did have tournaments on it, but they didn't they didn't uh, they didn't show the videos until or they didn't show the matches until just now. Um, same with Virtual Fighter Five. That was another game that I watched the living hell out of. Um, but Virtual Fighter Five like uh, Def Jam. I can't play those because they're con they're they're console only, and I'm a PC person. So, but anyway, Virtual Fighter Five, same thing. Um, apparently they had a that was at the CEO tournament, but they just now released the matches on them. So, so kind of a change of plan. So itchy and, itchy and scratchy is definitely going to be put on hold. So yeah, definitely be uh, I'll definitely be watching these. Um, okay, so now I'll try to, I'll try to talk about Vampire Savior. I might, I might edit that part out where I was bobbling my words. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, I'm leaning towards no, though, because what I actually did try to, I think I made a, I made a pinball video, uh, Red and Ted's Roadshow. I beat the high score, but when I fired up Windows Movie Maker and started working on my, Working on that, working on making that video, uh, the computer rebooted. So it looks like uh, now even using using Windows Movie Maker is a dangerous proposition. So, but anyway, um, oh, once again, I totally forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, um, but uh. But with Vampire Savior, though, all the charge motions on there, you got to hold back or down for about three or four seconds. Not just one second. So, any character that has charge motions are, at least in my mind, unusable. So, I, I'm the, uh, I'm preferring the quarter circle forward or quarter circle back or half circle or the uppercut motion basically forward down forward type motions those ones there I prefer so but like, like I said the uh, charge motions on vampire savior ass because you got to hold back or down for a long time before moving forward or up or whatever so I'm gonna I'm gonna take another drink So, but like I said, that really limits my options. I gotta go for the characters that have the, uh, 
the, the quarter and half circles, not the charges. So, but like I said, Lord Raptor, though, he's probably the only character I can think of where it's, I don't really need, I don't need to use, uh, use any specials hardly at all, because uh, all of his normal attacks are so good. But yeah, so so pretty much for most of the night, uh, gonna be uh, watching the uh, Def Jam Fight for New York tournament as well as the Virtual Fighter Five tournament. So, but like I like I said, oh, let me rewind back a little bit. Um, for those that don't know, um, Def Jam Fight for New York was was one of only three games that I could think of, or three fighting games that I could think of back in the 2000s that I played consistently. Um, Mortal Kombat, Armageddon, and uh, Deception be the other two. But aside from those, I had no other contact with any other fighting game. Um, Virtua Fighter 5. Uh, I used to watch the crap out of that, like what it, I think right around when it first came out. They had like tournaments and stuff like that. I used to watch those fairly often. But again, um, Virtua Fighter, I only really played the very, very first one that came out in the 90s. I think I played a little bit of the second one as well, but that's it. So. But otherwise, um, that's going to do it for me, everybody. Um, and once again, uh, happy 4th of July, and uh, I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Um, thanks for thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me. I appreciate that. And very sorry for all the word flubbing and all the, screw the having and hawing that I was doing later on in the video. Like I said, I kind of, my train of thought kept getting derailed, so... Might have to put that in the title someplace. So, but otherwise, um, thanks again for dropping by and, um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by and I'll see you all next time.